several non-government organization leaders today held a quarterly meeting with the Internal Affairs Ministry and various stakeholders, who include the police, to improve the relationship between NGOs and government. This is because in the past government closed some NGOs towards the 2021 elections, accusing them of siding with enemies of the state. The NGO Forum, which is an umbrella organ uniting NGOs, raised some concerns to the Internal Affairs State Minister, General David Mhozi. The NGOs are pushing for more tax exemption on so many of the things that they're doing. And so uh, we need to sit down with the Revenue Authority because uh, they feel the taxes are affecting so many of the operations. So until we have that engagement, we cannot conclude on that issue. Amid the shrinking space under which NGOs operate, there were several offices that belong to the NGOs that were broken into by the security operatives. Police opened up cases and files, but the reports have never come out and therefore they tasked the State Minister for Internal Affairs to explain why. We shall get to the bottom of it and uh, ensure that it doesn't recur. And I wouldn't want to say that you are, by inference, you mean that the break-ins were by government. Uh, certainly. Other leaders too expressed their concerns and fears. According to the, to the new act, each organization is supposed to pay two million per month when the permit ends. Meaning that if you take two years, that's going to be a lot of money. Ten months, it's going to be 20 million. Yet this money, you don't have it on your account because you rely on donor funding. I have seen government and investors categorize us into two groups of good NGOs and bad NGOs. And the bad NGOs are those that are working with communities to speak about how the uh, pipeline is affecting them and how they can protect their rights. As NGOs, we don't like uh, RDCs and security officers to blackmail us. We don't have branding uh, at all. I think they are isolated by their actions, if they are there. They also complained about resident district commissioners, RDCs. We, we seem not to be uh, understanding each other very well. For instance, someone who comes in this morning is asking an NGO some report, another one who comes in the afternoon, the other one, and we never get feedback. I think NGO Bureau needs to do some induction to the local level players about expectations of each player at that level. However, the minister re-echoed a government warning to NGOs on meddling in politics. When you want to operate as an NGO, there are regulations, there are rules, there are laws in this country which you should abide by. You can't say that being an NGO is, a, is a, like cowboy country, you do what you want. There are laws, you must be accountable. They have agreed that the NGOs will have an engagement with security operatives in the next quarter meeting on the heels of a request to government to make the meetings regional. Sudil Yarhanga, NTV.